Doki, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I have a dilemma. I've been seeing this guy for six months. He's absolutely gorgeous and a good potential life partner. However, I've noticed that he has bad hygiene. Sometimes it's bad breath. On occasions, it's sex hygiene and overall clean, clean, cleanliness, cleanliness. What should I do? Some people are missing these key essential items in their daily routine, yeah? They're missing the soap, the simple soap. Let me tell you, you're going into Asda. I'm not even trying to give them free sponsorship, but you're going to Asda, you pick up a simple soap. Yeah, you need that one. Bit of baby wipes, you know what I'm saying? When you're on the road and you're smelling a bit frowsy, it's okay to just pick up a bit of wipes. You just need to, you know, wipe your little private areas. If it smells sweaty, yeah, we don't do that around there still. A bit of Meachums. When you get out the shower, you need to put on deodorant. That's what a lot of people are missing. Like, where's your deodorant? It's not okay. And top it over with a little bit of dental spray because some people's arms just ain't smelling right. Like, we need to do better. And let me tell you something, sis. If you're having sex, yeah, and the guy smells just too much, just step on a bit of a mask. You know what I mean? It will last you throughout the sex session and you'll be all right. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. You lot couldn't wait for this one. You lot couldn't wait for it. Yeah, just want to. Attack. Wait, do it once. Should it I say one more time? Read it. And no, this time, not always no breaks. Don't do that. Right. <laughs> not today. Not today. All right, let's go. Not today. Are you lot ready? All right. Hi, guys. I have a dilemma. I've been seeing this guy for six months. He's absolutely gorgeous and a good potential life partner. However, I've, been, I've noticed that he has bad hygiene. Sometimes it's bad breath. On occasions, it's sex, hygiene, and overall cleanliness. Mm -hmm. What should I do? What? She needs to speak to him straight. Yeah. Listen, girl. You need to say something. The first thing, from when it's bad breath to sexual hygiene, just listen, you don't want to damage yourself while you, you're trying to make love to your partner. This is <laughs> this all sound a bit crazy and messy. Like it sounds like it's been a long time as well. And I just feel like that's something that you need to address in a safe environment. Obviously, you can't just be like, you stink. Like he's not gonna take that very well, maybe defensive. But if you make a safe environment and if you genuinely do, you know, love this person like you're saying, I want to make it work, you'll make a safe space and you'll keep it real. You just be like, baby. You know, you need some Xanax, you know, we could take a shower, you could take a shower, you, you can wear up your skin a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta wash your skin. <laughs> you smell a little bit. She even put him in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom. Yeah. Good day, you got that one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like, I feel like you definitely need to, you, you definitely need to let your partner know, like, there's no nice way to say negative stuff. Do you get what I'm trying to say? There's, there's never gonna be a nice way you can put something across like, you've got bad breath or, yeah, babe, when we're having sex, it's a bit like, there's no Must nice be, way. Yeah. They're going to take it offensively to a certain extent, but people who actually know that this thing is important will say that, oh, I actually rate you for letting me know. Because me, before I leave the house, I always ask my family members, how am I smelling? Oh, yeah, everything good. And we even tell each other, yeah, cool, it's family, but even friends as well. It's family. Yeah, but even friends as well. Like, but if they can't smell your penis, babe. Not, Wait, not are you your saying penis. Your penis like, might be a little bit musty. Wait, are you general. saying that you tell your friends? Yeah. You don't tell the friends on back chat though. Yeah, but yeah, why, 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 yeah, but that's not that Joseph, my brother. You see you here. Sometimes, like, I don't understand. You like to be logical and diplomatic. It's just so real. You know you're my dear. I have to let you know. Talk to your boys because my nose is actually traumatised. I got My nose got PTSD from the smells and aromas and the scents every time I have to come and, you know, shoot. Like, listen, these are my two favourites. These are my two favourites. This one especially because it fights the source of the odour. And then this one, you know, 48 hours, just use a bit. Tell your boys, you know, one pound is calm. See me see trouble. Like, what type of wilder does this Monty girl want to put me in? How are you trying to draw me out like that? Like, me, I don't know any of my friends on this show that smell. Because me, yeah, the type of perfume I wear, you'd be smelling it from across the road. But yeah, man, Monty, please, 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 don't involve me in all of this pass -off. That's not, like, I do. back chat friends. You, you, none like, of the girls my smell. No, no, listen, my people in back chat are not my close circle, like, cool, I see you walking around hold with them on, going cool, home Hold with them. on, <laughs> that's, that's different. We all know each other, but we don't know each other like that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? We all know each other, but we don't know each other like that. Like, if you were smelling Monty, which you don't, I wouldn't tell you, I'll be real, because I wouldn't Why? know how to tell you, because I feel like I, I, I don't know like, you like that to tell you. I feel like, like you I might smell. Take, no, you don't. No, I feel, like, I feel do. like, personally, if you are in a, like, my, if it's even my colleague, if I have, if I talk to you on a regular, we might not be friends, I will actually pull you aside. I think it's wrong to embarrass people in front of everyone yeah. and single someone out. But if you take them aside and you're like, babe, you know, um, babe, this is what's going on, da 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 da. In, you know, you can even be as blunt as you have, because I feel with these things, you can't be polite because people won't get it. You actually have to be blunt, not rude, 
but blunt and tell them, yo, like, he was you're asking. What? Your but, I never what? Said, but I never said anyone's names. I will never do it's that. True. So it's like, I don't like to embarrass someone. I feel like I feel like if you stink, that's very inconsiderate. Like, I can't lie to you. It's very inconsiderate. It's what? If you stink. What if they didn't know that they smell? You. I'm talking about well, armpits. Breath know? is a different thing. You that, can, no, you, you, no, seriously. You how do people not know? Some people don't. You can eat something and your breath can stink. But I'm saying if your arm smells and it smells green, you're very inconsiderate. Green is not a colour. <laughs> wait, wait, you, you get what I mean? It's a Jamaican it terminology, but it's fine. Hold on, let me say something, yeah? Cool. Green is in, in comparison to like Thank herbs you, I, and brown. I, I, I get the that's, comparison. That's for like, that's for like, that's for like cartoons. Do like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, hold, this hold is, Henry. No, no, in the Caribbean, just to educate you lot, in the Caribbean, you say your armpits are green. You know like, 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 herbs. You know like, all those things, that's what it means when somebody says your arms are green. You, you Don't do that. You, <laughs> you should know. Come on. God it does it again. Here he comes with his African versus Jamaican rubbish. Like, I'm African, you're Jamaican, we get it. How many times are you going to say it? If I'm not saying Bambakla or Wagwan, you lot don't know what I'm talking about. How do you lot not know the term, if your armpits smell green? Like, the green, herbs, trees, plants, green. It's got a very strong scent. Come on, get with the times. You lot asked, yeah, oh, um, how do you not know if you're smelling? There's some people that are accustomed to their own smell. I agree. Do you understand? And I feel like smell and sense are two different things. Mm, yeah? True, true. Everyone scent has. Is nice, uh, yeah, right? no, sense not doesn't necessarily have to be nice. Because nice. some people, well, everyone has a sense. Actually yeah. as well. Every, everyone has a scent, yeah? It could be foul to you, it could be, it could be good to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, it, I'm it, say it, Go go say it. It. No, 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 say it. What are you scared for? Say with your chest, bro. Say with like a man. Come on, yeah, okay, you know. but I'm saying that you know how. Like, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, bro. Shy man, bro. bro I swear, you know, bro, you know, the first team those are not shy. You know, if you want to join the bench, you can no, please, join go, the bench. Do you see where it is? Yeah, when you're picked on the first team, you're expected to deliver. So if you've got something to say, you might as well say it. Like. That's why there's bench warmers, because they don't deliver all the time. Do you understand? Like, when they're meant to deliver, when they're meant to do what they're meant to do, they hold back. That's why you sit on the bench. So if you're not ready, bro, I beg you just go and warm the bench again, please. In as they continue, Jerry. Anyways, yeah, so like, <laughs> it could be, you could have a scent, yeah? And it's your, everyone has a scent. So it's like, you don't know if it's foul to someone or not. Do you get what I'm saying? Wait, yeah. And okay, I'll give it, I'll, I'll give it. I think I know what you're trying to say. You're basically trying to say like, no, this is no offense to this race, I but you're about to say something. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because no, I'm not. Let him say it. Why okay. are you not stopping him from saying it? African people smell more. What? Huh? No, what no, 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 I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say in the Asian Indian community, yeah, in the Asian Indian community, their house tends to smell like the food, either the food that they cook and stuff like that. And to us, we might not like that. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, that's the scent. Yeah, yeah, that's It's not like, oh, it's coming out of their armpits. It's just like where you are. So to touch on that now, if you've realised that, because I think it's mad that it's taken six months for her to even mention it to That's him. That's crazy to me. I think man. it's crazy. That's You're six crazy. months in and you've never mentioned his hygiene. That means that means you must be a bit dirty too because you're you know, with a dirty guy. No, but sometimes when you like when you like someone, when you like and girls are they're, they're the ones that do this the most. When a girl likes a boy, they yeah, they will it. overlook a yeah, lot of things. She 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 just, even man them, don't get twisted, we can overlook something. Yeah, I don't no, no, exactly. not smell, not smell, smell, smell. When it comes not to smell, smell I'm out. but you will tread carefully. You will tread carefully. Don't say don't say like boys smelling like you say shit. I wanna say that, but bro, I can't I swear I can't put myself in them situations. I'm irritated instantly. Me too. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? I can't do it. It's very I feel like you lot are lying. I feel like you lot are lying. You can't say that. I feel like you lot are lying. You can't say that because I'm a person that normally I like to take care of myself a lot. I like to smell nice. Period. I want like. And it's I, okay I to have an expectation of the other person exactly, to do the exactly. same. Exactly. So obviously, obviously, if someone, if my partner is not giving me that same energy back, I can't Why do should it. I be comfortable I can't do with it. it? Do you know what this is? It's a cap. You lot are capping. All of a sudden, you lot are now outspoken. A couple of weeks ago, you lot were shook to give your opinion on sexuality. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to be telling your girlfriend if she stinks or not. 
cap. Please. Okay, let's t okay, let's talk about the genital area, yeah. The yeah. because with yeah. girls, they sometimes can produce odor or whatever in their in their private parts. No, I'm talking about girls. I'm talking about girls. Yeah. girls. Yeah. 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 Oftentimes, yeah. oftentimes, oftentimes, after a, a guy split up with a girl, you often hear them say your pum pum stinks or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Boys do That's overlook it as well. Yeah, I, I've actually been in raves yet, yeah, and a girl sitting on a standing on the couch, and a front stinks no, 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 and I'm yeah. like th there's like I feel like it's completely different for boys it's, com yeah, it's a completely different smell some girls, it's a complete some girls don't realise that there's something well. wrong with their yeah there's something their wrong and I think they actually have problems and they don't realise they've actually okay, got cool. a problem it's very important for females to keep their hygiene up to a thousand forget a hundred a thousand your punani shouldn't have any problems and if it does go see a GP but make sure that you're cleaning downstairs properly, not inside, the outer sides. Keep it cute, keep it coochie. They like it clean, baby. So when you tell a girl now, like for us, we have to build confidence to kind of tell the girl, oh yeah, it's down there smelling. A lot of girls, a lot of girls will now come and say, it's either because you've busted me too many times, or you're, you're playing the blink. You're playing, or, or you're you're playing the, you're Hold playing on, the, hold the on. Card. That's not a lie. Because it's when you wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because when it's you bust in a girl, it can throw off her pH balance. I get that. Balance. I get that. And then but that doesn't, that doesn't correct the smell. Do you understand? I'm telling you, it smells. I didn't ask you whether I busted you too many times. Is that what? Okay, smell? so what it you sounds smell. like is not your. Okay. Like, if you're sexually active, you should be able to know like your your, your sense. Like, if you know you're sexually active, control your pH level, bro. So, uh, so what it sounds like is you're not ready to help her find a solution. Why can't she find a solution? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, can I say something? Wait, can I say something? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, not control it. Not control you can't it, but say I that she has to, to control it because what a lot of men do not realize is that your diet, yeah, contributes to a woman's pH balance when you're busting in her. You might be eating the most nasty shit, yeah. It's not. I'm not saying you're necessarily. You're just probably eating junk and that. And I'm not even saying you're not looking after yourself, but it contributes to her pussy smelling because now you're using that nasty sperm of yours that you do not. It's still your responsibility, bro. Yeah, for the I'm saying. I'm waiting. I want to hear what she has to say. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's an excuse to have the smelly pussy because I feel like even as a woman, even if you feel like your pH balance is off, you should immediately find a solution to and stop it. Having sex. But um <laughs> But all I'm saying is that a lot of men contribute to it. Yeah, but okay. what, what? But, but all I'm saying is that, no, no, deal on. with it now. No, yeah. And Thank you, that's two, what I'm like, saying. You said all these other guys, their diet and stuff. What about the girls? Like, what, what are you exactly? doing? Your yeah. size, like, your pussy is there without him busting yeah. or not, like. Yeah. like you're using... Well, you don't even drink water. You don't eat fruit. You drink beer alcohol. And then you drink alcohol, you smell. All that bonding glue. Don't act like you don't smell more. In general, men, are smellier than women. Can I ask you a question? What? Your wig was no, no, no. small, everything underneath was small. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Can I ask you a question? Well, do you know what? You're not going to start you're dropping names because a lot of you are better nah. than you women. Might well, you might as well drop names. Wear, women wear bare tight clothes might as well drop names and can compact their smell. Hey, Monty, what do you mean? What do you mean, Monty? Drop the names. Exactly. Okay. You get what I'm trying to say? Should I name the names? I'm sorry, guys, but seriously, God, they's always talking a bit too much about his confidence. Oh, my mom smells this, my mom smells that. You're capping, bro, because you're, you're always... Hmm. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Can I ask you a I'm question? As Mel's, yeah, when you use the toilet, do you just shake and bake, yeah? Or do you wipe your tip after you're done? I use the tap. <laughs> Water. Water. <laughs> You take your penis into the sink yes, and you wash it yes, up. That's what you do every let's time. Not, every single time. Every, let's not like. So when you're out, don't cut, bro. Because you when you're out, you're doing it. We are going quickly. Wait, wait. Just shake it quickly. Have you ever been to? Have you ever been to a boy's house? Have you ever been to a boy's house? Smelly slept in boy smell. Have you ever been back? Maybe when you were back in the day. And it's like, no, they haven't, no, it's, no, like, no. it's like they don't have not changed the bed Yeah, they haven't changed the bed okay. sheets. Like, I, can I, anyway, I want to bring up a different topic here. They, I think also, guys, it's about, sometimes it's about compatibility, right? Because one time when I was a bit brack, yeah, I was looking online, up, um, I was looking online to sell my panties. I didn't do it, don't judge me. But I was looking online to sell my panties. And some people pay more if you've worn your panties um, for more days. So like, if you've worn it for three days, of the same panties. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much are they paying for this shit? You, like, you Monty, no one is going to buy your panty, though, like. Yeah. You shouldn't sell your pant. They'll use it for ritual. They'll take your destiny. You shouldn't be selling your pant. That's Omar, the DNA. I like you. Don't sell your pants. I like pants. you. Wait, wait, wait. No, we were taught to hide our pants. Lani wants to sell hers. Are you joking? Your whole ancestry, your DNA, and what you have to come in the future is in that DNA, if you don't know. 
witchcraft is real. Some rich man in Africa is going to use your destiny. Better keep your pants to yourself. It's not worth the money. Yes, yeah, so guys, years ago, I was going to sell my underwear online, right? And what the punters like to do is they like to smell this area here, right? They like to sniff it. And they like it to be pungent, do you understand? So you have to wear it for really, really long hours, really long days, and you get more money. I didn't do it, but I regret it very much so. And you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. Since I'm here on Backchat, DM me. DM me. I'm going to start at £50 for a day. But if you're nasty, if you want four days, you want five days, we can negotiate, baby. We can negotiate. Wait, wait, wait. So you can tell your panties. If you wear your panties. Lali, you're crazy. Wait, you, yeah, you, you need to look for ways to make income. But the same panties. If, yeah, if you wear your panties for three days, if you wear them but for But that a means week, you didn't clean two up. Two weeks. Yes, but. You don't bath for three days. Let me laugh. Let me like, the point is, you, you, yeah, maybe you can bath, but you're wearing the same knickers, so it's like flamenting. Some people like the flamented smell of penis and vagina. So, so you bath, wait, and then you wear back the my point is, I'm, My point is, some people like the, the, the smell of oh, sweat and a bit of mustiness. Have you ever heard anyone say, yeah, I, said I like it, wait? Yeah. Some people say, yeah, some people like, I like, I like you when you smell a bit musty. I like it when... Who said they know what it mean? I, I do, mean, I do, what? You like it? People, some people don't even you want... like it? it. What? Well, a saying, little bit musty. I, I, I've some heard, people, I've don't, heard want, people say yeah, that. Some I've people don't even that. want. Some guys will say like I. My friend told me one guy he really likes it to to give head, and he said he doesn't want it always to smell like nothing. He wants it to smell like vagina. Okay. The taste is gonna but be there. But the point the is, yeah, yeah. The point is like you're saying you want a girl who's absolutely 100 percent clean. Someone else m might want it a bit musty. But then now his mouth is a toilet. So ball. maybe maybe no. The point is like you you we're judging this guy and stuff. Yeah, but maybe he. Because of his ex relationship, she liked she likes him smelling a bit musty. So you have to just communicate. If you it's like, a preference. If you so like being dirty stuff. is is a yeah, preference. Yeah, people like people like it. Do you know how mad that sounds? No, we have to accept that people like. That is it. mad. Hold on. Have you had sex without bathing? Yeah, I'm sh pretty sure. No, I haven't. Don't lie. I'm Don't sure lie. I'm having. Don't lie. Sorry. I've never known about certain fetishes and that one there don't make no sense because that's just straight up disgusting. Females should not be wearing the same panty all over and all over again. That don't make no sense. Make sure you wash your panty. My grandmother she used to tell me to wash up my panty with my hand. You can have some swap. Scrub, 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 scrub till it clean. You don't need no dirty panty around here. No, wait, wait, wait like, I like I haven't taken a shower that day. Like you wake up in the morning and that's different. That's different. No, it's not. Because no, you're so she's clean. Not. Man, wait, you're so that. clean. You're so clean. Where's your dental wire? Go away, man. You lot, you lot are saying it like, oh, a girl comes to my house or I go and link a girl without showering or no, something. No, Having no, sex in the morning no. when you wake up is completely different. No, it's not. You've been sleeping for like, you've been sleeping, you sweating you're for 10 hours. It is different. You know what it's different. But you're talking about, but you were, you were actually no, talking about not bathing. You wasn't talking about morning sex. He was not talking about morning sex. Let me give you an example. Like, let me relate it to something else. You would kiss your girl in the morning, yeah. but no. if she came, what? if she came, wait, just hold on, be, just be saying it, bro. Like, what, what, what? She, came, she came from my house and told you I haven't brushed today. Are you gonna kiss her? Sorry, but with your bacteria yeah. in my exactly. Back but you would kiss her in the morning. Yes. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It's completely different. It's different to not bath from. It's different to not bath and leave your house and go and have sex than to have sex when you just wake up. So you can't. No, use that. That he, he has sleeping. a point. He has you a point. Doesn't, no, it doesn't make sense, yeah, because <laughs> you bathe. No, you sleeping. bathe in the night. You bathe in the night, and you're still gonna bathe in the morning. No, it, 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 do you know why? Do you know why it's different? That happens. I, are you trying to say that there's something wrong with bathing in the night? And I do that. I bathe in the night, and I still bathe in the morning. Exactly. So if you don't, ba if you haven't bathed in the morning, yeah, that means there's some form night. of I'm sweat. There's yeah. odor yeah. on you. So if you if you've had sex in the morning, it's still classed as the same thing. We do. We can tolerate some smell. No, but we can tolerate some smell. Have you ever kissed someone's neck? Wait, in summer when you know when you're hot, yeah. Have you ever kissed someone's neck and it's a bit salty? Yeah, even nipples can be salty sometimes. Do you not like this? I don't fucking like. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I just know it's getting to. It's getting me to where I want to get to. Hey, 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 Emily. I was just joking. out. I just said so nipples to be the funny guy in the room, but the way you're agreeing with me, I don't know what nipples you've been sucking. You lot are not understanding the question. We are not talking about one off. Um, occasions where, yes. may, listen, let me finish. You, we are not talking about one-off occasions where the neck might be a bit salty one day or the breath might sm smell one day. We're talking about this every man day. stinks every day. Every day. Every day. He has to know. You have to tell him. It's, 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 it's because I don't even understand how she's doing that. Her pH balance must have been 
off the hook because he's putting that nasty, smelly dick yeah. into her. And, and she's sucking it. I want to say my preference on how I would answer this question. First of all, this it's explaining that it's a good potential life partner. In general, I think if you if you want to go further with that person, you want to marry that person, you're going to have to speak to the you person. You have to tell them. It don't make no sense that you're going around with them six months. Oh, that's half of a year. Half of a year will be in duttiness of bad breath occasionally. I'm not, no, it's not immature. I'm a grown ass. I'm an adult. Would you, would you and that's not immature. Like I'm an adult. I have time you know. for that. What? Would you like someone to tell you if you if you wouldn't tell someone? Would you like? I'm an to adult. I'm 26 years of age. I'm an adult. I'm 26 years of age. My family will no, check me. My family will have been checked me. There's no way I'm going into a relationship and my family have not checked me. Are you mad? That's so when weird. I'm in my mom's house. If I'm leaving to go to work, it doesn't even matter where it is. She'll look in my eyes. She'll check my mouth. She just does it. So for me to then wait for my partner to come and tell me. No. I feel like if you can wait six months, just imagine the lime scale in your toilet. That don't make sense. It's just too much. Can we go back to what? Can we go back to what you said? Because you guys were talking over each other. Uh, sorry. Do you not think that it's really weird that he's saying that he won't kiss a girl with morning breath? I will fuck you, but I'm not lipsing. No, no. I'm so. What? This is the love of your life. This is the love your of your life. life. Why would you not lips her though? Cool. I will, I will, I will peck. No, no, no. But hold on, hold on. I'll, hold on. Wait. Let me. Let me. I will. Like, I'll give you a peck, but I'm not sticking no tongue in your mouth. That's different. You shouldn't be it's having sex because your mentality is very childish. This is the. Certain this is the person. Difference in opinion does not mean I'm childish. Understandable, understandable. My preference is different to your preference. That odor is more direct. Is no, hold on. The Our difference in opinion does not mean I'm childish. It's just my preference. If I'll fuck you, I don't want to. I don't want no. I don't want, no, I don't want no bacteria in my mouth. What's wrong with you? So you, you marry your wife, yeah, and yeah. you're together for ten years, and you're trying to say that all throughout you're not going to lips her because I will give you a pet, but why is it? Why can't you just wake up, go brush your teeth, and then kiss her? What's wrong? Why do I want to tell you the morning? If she hasn't brushed her teeth or anything, you don't need to tell her. All right, I smell cap, and it's not just from the breath in this scenario, it's from everybody on set. You're really trying to tell me, if your partner's sitting there and their breath is kicking, woofing, like, like, your nose hairs are burning, you know them ones, you're going to kiss, you're actually gonna put your, not even before brushing teeth, no, you're really gonna do that, because I don't think you will. That's, that's, it's unacceptable behaviour. You know what? I apologise for calling you childish. I apologise for calling you childish. But you lot can swap bacteria. Yeah, I will. I'll swap that bacteria. Yeah, so, so in I my think, hands. I think. Sorry, I think that you. Um, from what I've noticed about you, from getting to know you, obviously me and you are friends. I think that you, you strive for perfection yes. in life. I'm not gonna lie to you, and it's not realistic. I used to be like that. But hold on, there's certain things. Yes. Hold on, there's certain things I accept. I like to see my girl bum me and stuff like that. But you're not gonna come and lips me with your stink breath. That don't make sense. In the morning, you're working up next to her. The same way I was saying to you on the way here. But there's different things I have exceptions for. That's just my preference. If your breath stinks, why are you in the morning? Why are you coming to lips me in the morning? Don't lips me in the morning. Like, who is this guy? Who are you? Who are you? Like, who, are, who, who put you on this pedestal? Like, who are you? Like, who actually are you? Like, who are you? No, because that doesn't make sense. Like, well, sometimes your own armpit is smelly sometimes, man. You can't be talking to him like that. Your own pedestal. And nobody and them blood clout can force me to kiss nobody in the morning. Like, I'm just not doing it. If you don't brush your teeth in the morning, do not expect me to lips. Actually, I can't lie. I'm a bit of a hypocrite still. Like, man lips somebody the other day and you know, morning breath and them things there, do you know what I mean? I might even got a little bit of a head, so I can't lie. I just feel like I need to exit this conversation because right now, yeah, like, I did it. I did it. What? I did it. But any expectations I have is the same I expect she has for her to have me. It's not, it's not any different. Your wife of 10 years, bro, you're telling me you're going to tell your wife, oh, babes, don't kiss me, your breath, like... Bro, you're not listening to me. I will peck her, but you're not going to come stick her tongue down my mouth. It's different. Like, have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried it? Wait, wait, have you ever tried it? To be honest, I understand where you're coming from, but you can't really fault him for his opinion. That's what I'm saying. Because obviously, that, lips that, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You think about it, no, no. Just think about it this sense. way. That to, he might not be able to take that. He might feel like that's a bit disgusting. And that's just him, isn't it? Not everyone okay, can take it. So it. Okay, I understand, but it's like, why would you have sex in the morning and not, you can't really I'm kiss saying, them? Yeah, that's you what, what I'm saying. That's where. Wait, 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 wait. So you lips everybody that you have sex with? No, no, no. But that's your wife. Are you going to say everybody you have? That's your wife. Hey, you want off, bro, but you're making it seem as if, oh, I'm scorning her and stuff like that. I just don't like the fact that you've woken up and your breath stinks. You could have ate something from the, the night before and it just smelled nasty, bro. What Personally, I don't, think that's I don't think that's love. If I was your wife and you tried to... Okay, but that's you your choice wait, of the way how you choose to love. I, I would never marry you because I, if, you, if you rejected me for a kiss, because then you don't love me. You have morning breath too. We, we both have morning breath, do you understand? So, we, so, when, so when, we, when we kiss, I, 
when you kiss with morning breath, but because both of you have the God look, because both of you have the morning breath, because both of you have the morning breath, I will give you a peck, but I'm not sticking my tongue down your mouth, like. Personally, obviously I'm not cussing you, but I, I I do think that you strive for perfection, and I think it's unrealistic, and I also think that's not real love. That's that's my opinion. Why is he expected to tongue the girl though? She hasn't brushed her teeth. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't know. Not that. Not that. Like, I just don't think it's real love. You're still having sex with her, and she hasn't washed her pussy either. You should accept me. In and that's it. Like, that's okay. Because it's each, it's each, it's each to their own. But I understand not wanting to put your tongue in her mouth, and she hasn't brushed her teeth. That's not real love. Do you understand? Morning breath, messy hair, even their poo. It doesn't smell that bad. You go into the toilet, and you're like, mmm, this smell is sweet. That's love. Yeah, like that. Don't, so you you would beat your wife. You would do, yeah. but you won't kiss yeah. your wife because her breath is direct. But you're breathing in my face. Like, but you know, you won't. Have you tried it? It's not that bad because you both of you have the breath. It's not that bad. It's almost neutral. Can I ask a question? You wouldn't want to kiss her, but would you want head? If you haven't showered. But you want head. <laughs> future Hendrix. Future. It's future. It's future. It's future. If you do, that's hella disrespectful. That's hella disrespectful if you do. Morning breath. On your pee pee. On your pee pee. I've actually been with someone that had a bit of bad odour, yeah? But as I said, I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you. Obviously, by this time, we was already like two years in. I didn't tell him. I didn't know. I didn't tell him. I just brought him in the shower with me and I bathed him. Yeah, that's what he said. But not like not bathed him, but we were showering. Like we were showering together, but I was slightly doing that. Like, what about, do you get what I mean? What about when you're not there with him? Exactly. Bro. He's still gonna yeah. stay. Yeah. What about the next time? That was the last one. After that, I was done. But you know so that contradicts what you said at the beginning. No, no, no. At the I said, beginning, you no, said, I said, just tell the person they stink and let them deal with it. But you did the loving thing and you helped them find a solution. And I feel like that's what. You that do. was after a long period of time. Six months. Six months. Six months. No, I'm not telling you nothing. You're a grown I up. I think you've got to relate it back to culture as well, because with Jamaicans, if you stink, we'll tell you that you stink. If you look ugly, you tell me. So do Africans. Africans do that so too. Africans. He's trying to put Jamaica on the map. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's true though. So if your breath stinks, it's only natural for me to be like, yo, like, but I'm not, it's, it depends on the way how you say it. I'm not just going to outrightly say, oh, yo, you stink. Like, just take it to the side. Do you know what I mean? But you got to you got to realize, yeah, some people's stench can't go away because it'll soil up in their clothes. Their bed smells are kind of way. No matter how much time you wash clothes, it, like, it, it. No, no, but no. Oh my, no. Sometimes clothes. In your clothes. That's, then that's 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 something else. There's that's, people that go that's gym. Mess. How can you wash your clothes and the smell's not going? So what if you realise that is that person's scent? Now he spoke about scent. Now what if you realise that is that person's scent? Are you gonna stay with that person? Because there's nothing they can do no, about there that. Is, there is, there is. And your there kids is. are gonna have that scent too. Hold on, but your scent is genetic. Your, your scent is. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold no, on. A no. scent is not genetic. Yeah. Right. It is. No, it's, it's not. not. Yes, it is. A scent, scent is not genetic. Wait, hold How? Your scent is different from body odor. Like everyone knows what body odor smells like. Yeah, but what if you don't like it? Like, I don't know about that. I haven't been in that situation, so I don't know. You guys are forgetting, you guys are actually forgetting there are actually conditions people have where they just, they just need to find a solution to it, go to the doctors and yeah, find yeah, the medication yeah. for it. So there is, there's what, helitosis. What you're saying is sense, yeah, of your house can be changed. So there are certain conditions that, you know, certain people have and, you know, you can't really, you know, blame them for it. You know, it's just in them, it's like a disease. And I, f I do feel like certain people actually don't know they smell it's up to other people to let them, let them know because they're very used to, you know, the scents that come out of their skin. So you have to let certain people know. And also we need to be very careful as well with even talking about this because, again, certain people have conditions that they probably don't know until they go to their GP. See, this is why it's painful as the boys are shouting that it's not their responsibility because a lot of these yeast infections, BV, it happens because of men. Nine times out of ten, it's because of what the guy's eating. It's because their dirty fingers, their dirty pricks are coming inside you. <laughs> you know, you get, get the pun? Yeah. They're coming inside you and then at the end of the day, it throws off your pH balance. Vaginas are high maintenance. Any small thing can throw off the pH balance. And it's not just what you consume. What your partner is consuming as well can mess it up too. Because like I said, if they're busting inside you, the nut can throw off your pH balance. Huh, us girls, we go through a lot too. Yeah. I think I that, put a sense you of your body. That's body odor. Sense of your body is, is... No, it's not body odor. It's a person's scent. 
No one is, has a smell. Everybody, everybody has a smell. People have smell. You have a smell that's acquired from your household. Yeah. But it's your normal, but you're not born with a smell. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You have a smell that's acquired from your household, but you're not born. Wait, hold on. People that have the same and, smell every oh, you time. you smell like peaches, or you smell like mango. Like yeah. no one, no one's got a smell. Like your smell is created from your surroundings, but you don't actually. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You don't have an actual and smell. And because you're in the surrounding for so long, it seems like yeah, that's like your that's smell, smell. But but more time you go somewhere else. And that smell's not, exactly. it's not there, do you get what I'm trying to say? Oh, okay. Fair enough, you like, learn things every day. One of my closest friends here, she was dating a guy who wanted to be a bod bodybuilder. So, you know you're bodybuilding, you have to eat certain foods, right? So he was eating a lot of fish so that he could bulk up and get muscles, right? So, smell like so right, so she told me that he just naturally, unfortunately, started to smell that a bit like fishy fish. in his skin, right? Oh, but um, bodybuilding isn't forever, it's like, I think it's like six months or like, there's a target, right? I, I, so basically she just had sex with him even though he was a bit smelly. Me personally, that goes back to, I think that's cute. I think that's... Yeah, no, that's different that's, though. That's, that's different. No, but I feel like he's that's working he's towards something. Let, let no, he is different. Go on, go on. He is different. I'm just trying to say that tolerating morning breath, temporary stuff, um, fishy, fishy um, smell in a person, bad, to tolerating bad stuff that's temporary in a person, I think that's love. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. But that's different though, that's different. My love's different. That's very different. My Bonjour guys, you know me, I'm the guru of love, Komilani, the guru of love. Guys, listen, I don't agree with these people. Do you know what? A bit of sweat and a bit of stink is fucking amazing, all right? When you love somebody, facts are they can stink, their balls can smell like fucking rotten fish. It's salty over here, but to you, it tastes like sugar, darling, because you're in love. Do you understand? So you tolerate that shit. Your brain is playing mind games on you. It's because if you think about it, I get what you mean. Because if your family member, your brother, sister, whoever was smelling, you're not going to tell them to oh, get out of the house or something. You're going to like tolerate it, help them get over it and yeah. give them tips wait, on how wait, they wait, can... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and you're also not going to make them feel bad about it. tell me. Yeah, exactly, when you're younger, like, what, have you, have you, you taken your bath today? Like, have you brushed What's your that just done? <laughs> She's smelling. Like, but well, exactly, so like, me. you're not going to tell them. So those are things you tolerate My mom made sure I'm bathing properly. You know when you're younger, you try not bath properly. She, will, she used to cuss me. She will cuss me. Go back inside. My mom will go out bath again. With that, yeah. No, but with that, I kind of understand because it's bodybuilding to get to a target. But she was sleeping with him. To get to a target is a goal. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's what I can tolerate. If it, but if you just but imagine think. she was sucking his dick and it tasted like fish. Yeah, but what I'm saying, he's working towards something. So that's obviously I feel yeah, like well, she's letting no, him know. No, it's, it's like, the like, same it's thing with okay. the morning breath though. Yeah, like, he, it's still he temporary. He didn't know he was smelling like fish, just like the person who has the bad morning. breath or body. Yeah. Or but it's, it's because really but you got to think about it, they communicate. He knows that he's bodybuilding for a target and he's eating fish. I don't know. He no, he doesn't know. He didn't know he smelled. He didn't know he smelled. She didn't tell him. He didn't know. He sh he didn't know she um that he smelled. She just didn't tell him because. She but she can see that he was trying to. No, no, no. The point is no. She but she didn't tell him she stunk. Smell is smell, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like smell is smell. What you saying? Are you basically saying that the only way you will tolerate something is if if they're trying to achieve? A no, but I can understand like it though. So what if someone said, "Oh, I don't want to brush my teeth for six love? months and see no, how it goes." <laughs> Does that mean now you just no, 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 but you gotta remember bodybuilding is some kind you can go into championships and stuff like that. Like they they, they actually that's a sport. It's a sport. It's a sport. No dead. That don't make sense. I, I don't even know. I've told someone that they've smoked before type of thing, yeah. But the reason why I told them was because I noticed that you will go to their house or you you chill with them, they won't shower before you come or stuff like that. So I felt like it was things that you could have done yourself, do you know what I mean? Like, right. I feel like you're causing that, o that odor and have you had a conversation and it was like, they accept it because it's an, like you're an adult, you're speaking to an adult, mm -hmm. so they understand, okay, cool, like I actually appreciate that yeah. because there's people that will run away ASAP, do you get it? Mm -hmm. And what, what you, like, what, what you're saying about, about oh, I, I will blow, like, I'll put it like, <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> literally, you're, you're saying that you will blow out, out, yeah? Why I said it's a childish mindset is because, okay, cool, so you're just allowing that person to smell just because they're not in your life, you're basically telling them that they should go out in the world and smell and do nothing when you could have told them about that. And you're basically saying that the only reason why you wouldn't even be with them was because of that smell, that you didn't even try and correct. 
I've told people that I've actually I've actually told people in my life that were my friends. I've actually, I've actually told people in my life that were my friends, but I've like I've took one on one and I've told them and I've never had a bad experience. Like no one's ever been angry that I've done it or da 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 because I feel like everyone in my life knows I'm real anyway and I'll tell them well and I've said it. I feel like and if you tell them, somebody that they smile, that's already out of love. If you don't do it, then you just don't care. Okay, okay, okay. What what do you do now if you tell them and they keep smelling? What's the problem there? What are you gonna do? Then what you, you can do? start, wait, hold on, then, then you can start being mean. Yeah. If you were sensitive about it at first and they didn't, they'll be like, why are you walking around and you're still smelling? Like, do something about this. You look like you're stinking. When you walk in the room and I start doing, hmm, what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> What a stretch. Ah, oh, my, my sister, my brother, I've told I, you I before don't, I don't now. Know, I don't Chill. know what that means. What's up? Ross Clark. Ross Clark. Oh my God. Do you lot see? I'm going to now have to invest my time in getting myself a Nigerian dictionary because I'm outnumbered here. Oh my days. Here comes Mr. God F. Phillips, the Caribbean. There's no way you can understand the banter, bro. We Africans, we just come different, you get what I'm saying? If you wanted to say, the guys are the guys, I will do that for you, you get? But swear, you can never understand that one, bro. Sorry, when it comes to bad smells, I'm not a fan. It even gets to the point where no words can describe how foul the smell is. Sound effects is what describes how foul that smell is. Oh, so question quickly. So are you not telling me, yeah, that the boys that... Uh, the ampet is doing the madness here. You people cannot tell them. You people are, you We haven't told them. Wait, hold on. We haven't told them, but we'll be doing, hmm, something smelly here. You should be aware of yourself to know that, hmm, am I, am I doing, hmm. So do you care about the smell? Yeah. That, that's why I said, that's why I said, we do, all don't know I was in the women's like room and it smelled a bit mad, so what? Who's room? I was in you lot's room and it smelled a bit mad. Uh, it's probably because you came in. That's a lie. Please. It's not because you came in. That's a lie. None of the girls sing. Don't do that. I'm not having it. It's not because you came in. Because none of the girls sing. Fact. Monty, Stop. Monty, I'm not having Monty, it. Monty, I'm not having Monty, it. Monty, Monty, Monty. <laughs> I walked into the girls' room, yeah, and my nose was pinging, child. But that's none of my business. That's none of my business. God, there. Please, please, and please. Don't ever try to say when you come into the girls' room, yeah. This is what I'm saying. This guy's just so messy. You come into the girls' room and we smell hell to the note. Do you, do you know what I'm spraying on my body? Are you okay? When you come in there, you admit, don't let me talk. Who's the culprit? Who's the culprit? <laughs> it's not even working. You've got to crack open a window or something because this place stinks. So you said, you said you're real in it and you, you say it to people you don't really know like that. Mention oh, one of the mandem that smells. Oh, camera, I'm not like that. Why so not? That, so that, that, no. don't, that's embarrassing. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, not going to do that. I know that. it's not me. But after the camera's shot, let's have a discussion. But I'm not going to do that on camera. That's rude. I'm not a bad man. I'm not a bad man. Come on, come on. Babe, some people are stinking proud. I don't understand the whole concept of wearing, to wearing designer and your armpit smell. You tell me you can't even go to Asda and buy a one pound deodorant. And so who's wearing designer roll, roll and, and it smells? Hey, Jay, stop trying to draw something are out. Any gonna, yeah, are yeah, any yeah, of yeah, you yeah, not going to, are any of you not going to say I just, I just want us to source out the weed in yeah, the room exactly like, so we can know who's smelling. We need to, we, know, we actually need to have a topless session and then decide because a lot of there's a lot of layers want, going my nose on. It's damaged. I don't want none of that. My nose is very nice. I don't want it to be damaged. Please don't remove tops. When did you smell a smell in there? Today. He's lying. He's chatting. There, I, feel like I feel like his cat. I feel like his cat. Because we all talk to, in the girls' dressing room now. We all talk to each other. We all ask each other. I feel like you can lick my own ampids. <laughs> God forbid. That's how clean I am. That's how clean I am. Wait, sorry, can I just say something? Can the girls quickly just like educate the girls about vaginal area? Because okay. a lot of people don't think yeah. that yeah. their vaginas smell right. and produce a smell. So just go, just touch on that. Um, a lot of people don't know that to keep the vagina clean, you shouldn't really be using soaps, especially a lot of soaps with chemicals in it. Water is perfect. That's all you need to clean your vagina because a lot of soaps actually cause thrush and actually throw up your pH balance. Also, guys, drinking a lot of water. Eat healthy. I'm not saying be one of the, you, you understand? Well. Be yeah. Because some water um, fucks up your pH as well. You just need to drink water a lot. Make sure you're cleaning every day. And me, I'm Muslim. I grew up in a Muslim household. I'm, I naturally use water to clean my bum. And if I'm outside, I carry wipes with me. Hence why I tell the girls, I got vagina wipes. wipes. I got vagina wipes. Because I like to keep that place clean. Just because... I, I feel like I smell my, I'm very self-aware. When I start smelling, if I'm sweaty, I know that I'm smelling, do you yeah, understand? Yeah, I know I'm yeah. sweating now, you understand? I'm very self-aware, so I don't know about other people, but try to be self-aware about the way you smell. And I'm very sure a lot of, uh, mo the majority of people can smell themselves. Mm.
And we ferment them, ferment them, yeah. The ones that your armpit is, is, is talking a bit roll too on. much. Roll on. Roll on. You see, it's in the, in the, in the, in the, in the market, lime, you can get like seven, right. eight lime, lime, lime for like one pound. It doesn't cost pit. anything. Just slice it and just rub okay. it before you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because please, it's mad out here. It's actually crazy. But I can't lie, this whole links business doesn't do nothing. Wait, hold on, hold on. This whole links, this whole, this whole, this whole links. <laughs> wait, wait, this whole links whole business doesn't do anything. <laughs> This whole links business doesn't do anything, bruv. You need to use simple soap. Sometimes it's just a natural soap yes. that you use underneath your arm. Amen. Cut the lime and just squeeze it underneath there. You shouldn't be smelling so much, man. It doesn't make sense. Don't leave your house and embarrass yourself, man. Thank just you. use Thank your... You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. With the girls, yeah. <laughs> With the girls, remember your ass is somewhere you need to wash as well. Yeah. Because a lot of boys as well, boys as well, you boys like to act like you're, you can't touch your batty. I do, I do. Oh, I you, you, you rub it, you wash it. You oh. put it oh. Oh. I said boys as well. You have hair in your asses, so I ain't got the, no black poop, the poo poo part. The poo. The, wait, wait, wait. Boys have boys have um hair. Boys have hairy bums, so all the poo poo particles are in your hair. It's nasty. That's actually why. Talk, like, for, talk for them. It's not. No, it's that's not actually. Yeah, yeah. Talk what for them. It's not here. What do you mean? Talk, them. talk for them. It's Who's not them? Here. You boys in general have hairy bums. You have hair in between your ass cheeks. So when you poo, all them disgusting particles are there. So like, um, that's why in sex, when people, women are like, so when people say would you lick a guy's bum for me that's one of the reasons i wouldn't because i feel, feel like men don't wipe their bum it could be it's finding harder to wiping is not enough i just have to say you guys can't just wipe you have to wash your wash your bum hey let's just let's just dead it at the end of the day just bath and brush your teeth like buy lemon if you need and stop making stop making it such a sensitive topic if you smell if someone tells me i smell yeah like cool fix it like my bro my boys my boys have told me so me personally i'm gonna have a conversation with the person just tell them i feel like you know, you smell a little bit. You need to sort that out. It's, you have to be nice about it. I'll tell you why, because you have to be nice about it. Because if you're horrible, they're just be like, bruv, you stink, or whatever. Like, And instantly, if someone talks to you like that, you're not going to have it anyway. So it's all about your approach with it. So I'll be nice. And then if you smell it again, be a little bit angry, like, you smell foggy in here, you've got to fix it up. And then, I don't know, if he continues, then I might have to leave him, because you're going to be free for the rest of your life. And, you know, there's nothing we can really do. To conclude, if you can't get the smell out, just steam your arm. Stop smelling blood clot from this. It's not okay. Just steam your arm.